going to be making the mouse. The mouse starts kind of similar to the mole, and it also is a profile view or a side view. So if you want to tip your paper to the side, because that mouse is going to be long and skinny, okay? So I'm going to start over here on, with the head, and then that way I'll have room for my body and my tail, okay? So over here, I'm going to start with a curved line that goes up. And remember, pause me whenever you need to. Then I'm going to make a curved line that's not as curvy going down. Okay? Kind of has a little point. That's where his nose is going to be. All right. Now we're going to make these great big ears. You probably think of Mickey Mouse when you think of mice. So we're going to make an oval kind of shape. I'll start about right there on the head. And then I curve like that and I bring it back. So not quite a circle, more of an oval. Then in the inside, you can make a little mini one, a little mini open oval. And then the other ear, it's behind this ear, so you're only going to see a little bit of it. So I'm going to start right about here on the forehead. And I'm going to go up, curve, and then when it touches that ear, stop drawing because that makes it look like it's behind this one. Okay, now if you wanna draw your nose, you sure could do that right now. If you wanna add your little eye, maybe you want a mouth and some whiskers. Okay, oh, he's so cute already. Okay, now we're gonna make the big curvy line for his body. So I'm going to start in the middle of this ear and it's going to go straight back for just a little while and then I'm going to curve it down. So I call this line the candy cane line because it almost looks like a candy cane tipped on its side. Okay? Then after that you're going to make the tail. The tail can just go wiggly, wiggly, wiggly however you want it. It's a little pointy so I'm going to stop, turn around and follow my line back to my body. Okay, so there's my tail. Now from the tail line, I'm going to make a line that curves down just a little bit and then it goes forward and then it curves back just like that. And then I'm going to make a letter C tipped on its side. So I'm going to go from here and the letter C. Okay. Then I'm going to make a curvy line going from this foot right here. It curves like that. That's his little belly. <laughs> and then we've got to make his two front legs. So I'm going to go, it's going to look like a sock. So I go down curve forward, then back, and then up. See how it looks like a little sock? Then you're going to do it again, but first I want to connect the head, go up a little bit, and then connect to that sock right there. And then I'm going to make the other foot behind it. So it just went down, it curved forward, then backwards, and it connects to that sock or foot. Okay? But once your line touches that other line of the foot, make sure you stop. That way it looks like this foot is in front of that foot. Okay? And so there's my mouse. I think he's pretty cute. I could have made him a little thicker. To make him thicker, it just means, eh, maybe he just ate some cheese. My mouse look a little hungry. He might want to go hunt for some cheese. Um, so now bubble cut this mouse out like that. So cut on that line that you draw around your mouse. Keep it very simple. You don't have to try to cut around all of that stuff that is that's really difficult. Okay, color your mouse in and then stick them inside your mitten.
All right.